know what time it is. I haven't done one of these in a while, guys. It's Motivational Thursday. And you guys know what Motivational Thursday is? That means you get your butt up and you do something. It doesn't have to be work-related, but it has to be something productive. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to do whatever it is to make my life better. Get your butt up, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, go take a shower, go take a poop. I don't care what you do, just make it a productive day, okay? It is Motivational Thursday, and on Motivational Thursday, you do not get the opportunity to sit around. Do you understand me? Get your lazy butt up and get it moving. Get it moving, okay? I'm sick and tired of you guys sitting around not doing anything, okay? Get your butt up and get something done. It's snowing out here, I don't care. I will rip. What's up guys, Sean here with Spencer's Lawn Care. It's still freaking cold and snowy and all that crap up here. I don't know about you guys, but this year has been trying. More or less, the weather is trying. At this time last year, this week last year, actually, we were mowing. And, uh, give me one second here. I'm about to run to the grocery store because I need some protein sources in the house. It's not really that we need groceries, but I go through so many different proteins with my diet being so specific now that things like fruit and vegetables, you know, they just don't stay good for a long time. You know, if you get a, a week and a half out of them, you're doing pretty darn good. So I gotta go get bananas, apples, all the fruit stuff. I gotta get steak, some chicken, fish, just a little bit of everything, but. Just left Fisher's. I got the meats first. I normally go to Walmart first and then come over to here and get the meats and stuff. Like I've said before, I don't buy Walmart's meats. I don't know. I've, I've bought them in the past and uh, just not a fan of them, honestly. It's just my personal preference. I know a lot of people that do buy them and they seem to like them, but me personally, just not a fan. I've, uh, I've bought chicken there before from Walmart I'm talking about with, I mean, just covered in feathers and you're literally sitting there picking the feathers off. Now, don't get me wrong. I've bought chicken from Fisher's also and had to pluck a few feathers off, but to me, it seems like Walmart's chicken, there's just so many more feathers on it. You got to do so much more maintenance to it, a lot more fat on stuff. I mean, you just spend more time cleaning things up when I can come over to here and spend a little bit more money. Fisher's is a bit more expensive supermarket, uh, but I like their stuff better, the meats at least. Now, pre-packaged stuff I buy it at Walmart. It's far cheaper there. I mean, there's just no comparison to Walmart's prices. Like, I'll give you for instance, uh, a can of Pringles. Now, a can of Pringles, and Walmart are like a buck fifty. Well, at Fisher's, they're two dollars basically, a dollar ninety nine. So, I mean, you're just looking at a fifty cent markup for a can of Pringles for just that. Now, just imagine everything else. I mean, bread, you get bread here at Walmart for a dollar seventy nine. You go over to Fisher's, it's two nineteen. I mean, it's just little things, guys. I mean, whenever you're growing up, you don't realize, like, oh. You know, you're spending that much, much, yeah, that much more money. But whenever you're going out and, you know, you got kids and a family and 
you know you're spending two three hundred bucks a week and i know people that go way more than that guys i mean i'm talking four or five hundred dollars a week they have bigger families though obviously but uh you know every little bit helps in the long run savings wise so that's why i come over here and i buy certain things at walmart and they're just across the street like i'm already at walmart like literally one minute it's fishers over there walmart right here so that's another you know luxury that i probably have that some people don't but other people may just know there's somebody out there looking at your business just like this <sighs> <sighs> guys got the back of the car loaded down two different stores all right guys i'm cooking dinner tonight savannah's not feeling real well i am doing low carb meatballs uh generally meatballs require breadcrumbs but with my diet the way it is, no breadcrumbs in my meatballs. So then we're going to come over and we're going to mix it in with a little bit of whole grain pasta. I won't have much of this, but what I do, this is 180 calories for uh, two ounces, I'm guessing. Yeah, two ounces it says. I won't have much of this, but the kids will eat it. And it's a little bit of a healthier noodle. Quick little update, meatballs are getting a nice sear on them and we got the noodles starting to boil. And then uh, once we get these drained, we'll go ahead and collab them together. So we got the meatballs seared on all four sides. They still got a little cooking to do in the sauce. And we just started the noodles, but we're gonna go ahead and throw the sauce in here real quick. Get all that juice made in there with the sauce. I don't claim to be a professional, guys, but I can make some food that tastes okay. Make it edible, I guess we should say. Alright, so our meatballs and our pasta are ready to collab together. We'll just go ahead and slide it on in there. Now I know some people, my wife is actually one of those people, doesn't like to... She likes to keep the noodles separate and then just add the sauce to the noodles. Me, I like to mix them together. So, let's get them mixed in here. You can hear Sean Boy still coughing in the background. His fever has broke, but... Now Savannah's dealing with it, so I figure it's going to run its course through our whole household here before it's done. Ooh, my pot's going away on me. But you guys get the whole spiel here. So I got it all mixed together, fellas. That's going to be pretty much the finished product. I do have some low-fat mozzarella that I will add to mine. The kids, they'll probably just use the uh, shaker parmesan cheese but uh yeah that's it i'm gonna go in here in a second and mess with savannah i know she's not asleep yet but i'm gonna go in and just kind of talk some crap to her so come along with me real quick she's sick as a dog been resting all day i went grocery shopping now i'm cooking dinner i'm basically being the mom today she can have one day off we'll let her have one day off <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so i knew she wasn't sleeping so i figured i'd mess with it but she is staying in bed because she doesn't feel good but uh yeah i'm cooking dinner she's taking the day off 
Me and Miley got pitching practice here in a little bit. What are you doing, Sean boy? Getting a drink. Getting a drink? Do you feel better today? Um, yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah, for this practice. He still got the cough, though. But, uh, like I said earlier, guys, snow outside, super cold. Not getting a lot done for the business. What? Well, you might go with me. We'll see how mommy's feeling, okay? But, uh, yeah, not getting a lot done. Really, you know, whenever the house is sick, really ain't much you can do anyways. I'm trying to not get it myself. I'm hoping I luck out. So, as always, guys, keep mowing, keep growing. Keep making money, boys. I'll talk to you later.